get this guy off site, please. He's being angry now and he's trying to get aggressive. Yeah, that's fine, I'll yeah. sit out. Um, okay. Please, can you get him off site? This All right, leave it to off. security now. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right, cheers. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Milton Keynes. You might recognize the iconic colored warehouses here on Magna Park. You can see these warehouses from a lot of the main roads around here. But we're gonna have a look at bar soft drinks today. And I had a quick look at these signs and it simply says access to operational areas is restricted to authorized personnel and vehicles only so operational areas well i've got an open gate and this is not an operational area so let's have a little walk down the footpath and see what we can see and whilst we're walking i'll show you on screen some of the brands that they do you know you've got the bar iconic uh, ice cream soda and bubble gum You've got uh, Bundaberg, <laughs> Dandelion and Burdock, Iron Brew, KA and all the flavours. You've got Mixers, OMJ, the Pre-Mixed Cocktails, Purees, Rubicon, San Bedetto and many, many more. Tizer. So, you know, you all would have heard at least one of them before. <laughs> And on the website it says bar is a fun young energetic brand which has been bringing families a unique range of great tasting and great value flavors since 1875 so let's go see how fun young and energetic they are in here then we can already see some interesting logos on the top there some of the brands that we've already just read out Pedestrians must keep to the designated walkways and once again access to operational areas restricted. So yeah, we're doing what we're being told so far. We have got a security gatehouse over there and the path does lead to that as well. Two cases only. So you might be able to take two cases only if you work here. And the place is covered by CCTV and it's great for them to give you an email address like that, you know, so that you can request a copy of it. And we've got a reception in there. I'm just looking at the brand. Is that an information board I can look at? That's just the factory information board. That's just uh, insurance certificates. All right, what's that little statue in the corner? That's good, isn't it? I'm just here to make a little video about the bar building, just in the public accessible areas. You don't like people going into restricted areas, do you, sign says? No, have you got an appointment to um, film here? No, no, I'm just a member of the public. Right, OK. Yeah, just having a look round. OK. Yeah. Can I have a look at that in the corner? Thanks. Oh wow, it's made out of recycled iron brew cans. Oh, please do not touch cut hazard. That's oh, brilliant, isn't it? It's even got a plaque at the bottom to commemorate the opening of AG Bar, Milton Keynes. 2015, it says. Highly unusual. Thank you for your valued sponsorship of the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. So they obviously got involved in the local community as well, which is great to see. And that's just factory information board that she just said. So they've got a target of 75% for nurture our culture. Raising the bar. So they're making... Uh, Big steps. We will pick up the can, not kick it. <laughs> oh, I thought. Yeah, we don't be allowed filming in here. 
All right. All right, okay. Do you want me to, do you want me to just leave then? No, if you want to know anything about bars, you've got information that's down there. All right. Where's that, sorry? It's just underneath there on the table. I can take that, can I, that yeah, one? Yeah, you can take that. Oh, thank you. I'll read a bit of this outside then while I look at the building yeah. and that'll be a nice video. And there's nothing else for the public, just this little bit, is there? Yeah, yeah, this is just the main reception area. Right, all right, thank you. Oh yeah, um, I normally end my videos, I go to interesting places quite a bit mm. like this and I, I just take the drone over for an aerial shot. Do you know how it's got like a really interesting look to the outside mm. of it? So if you do see a drone flying around, it's only me, okay? Right, okay. All right, thank you. So yeah, we've been given uh, some literature here. So let's have a little read of it whilst we point the, uh, the camera at the building. So we've got the Iron Brew Energy. Yeah, they're doing the energy version now. They're no sugar. And it grows four times faster than total energy. <laughs> so Iron Brew is the UK's number one flavoured carbonate brand. I do like Iron Brew. Do you? And Rubicon there. Wow, look at all that. All the different brands to do. And if you're a dealer, you just put your stamp there, I guess. A dealer of bar soft drinks. So at least we got given something. Oh, the wind's taking it away. Yeah, look at all them in the brand. Sorry, in the range. <laughs> bottles, bottles, cans. Yeah, it's a bit windy to show you this. <laughs> oh, I'm having a nightmare. But I think we get the gist. Bigging the company up to the max. So, thank you very much for that. I mean, that's interesting, isn't it? You know, like a little garage. What do the store in there, mate? What do the store in the garage? Drinks? What do you mean, drinks? What, so it's all refrigerated in there? A, a summer canteen for the staff? Yeah. Is it summer now? It is, isn't it? I don't know why it's the pandemic. All right. What, is it like, a, do they serve you drinks in there as well? Yeah. Wow, that's brilliant. They look after the staff well here then, don't they? Exactly. Yeah. They do. Nice one, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Who are you, sorry? I'm the operations manager. Can you uh, leave by property, please? You've surprised me with that, with that approach. What do you mean? Oh, that's not very nice, is it? Well, I know you're filming. Can you turn the filming off? No. I just told your colleagues I'm here to make a video about the building. Well, can we, can we have a look at what you're trying to do here then? You need to, you need to, first of all, you need to get permission. So let's walk, let's walk you up to the end. Come on, let's walk up to the end. Excuse me. I don't like the tone of your voice. Let's go and see the security guard. Come with me and we'll come and see security. Come on. You need to change your behaviour, my friend. I'll just get off. I don't know what that was all about. I'm not meaning to be. Yeah. I'm just, like I said to your colleagues, I'm showing an interest in the building. Yeah, that's fine. We've got no problem with showing So what's up then? We've what's it all no about? Problem. We've got no problem with showing interest, but you've got to be off the private, this is private property, so you need to be off these sides. I've just said to the ladies, they said I'd rather you not film anything else in the reception, so I said, okay, I'll step outside no, and do it. Not, this is private property. Well, they've told me different, haven't they? So why are you getting angry? I'm not. You are. Why is your tone of voice changed? Why are you getting angry with me? Because you, you, you're, you're a numpty, yeah. that's why. Get this guy off site, please. He's being angry now and he's starting to get aggressive. That's fine, I'll yeah. shut up. Um, please, can you get him off site? Right, leave it to security now. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All right, cheers. Thank you. So, Hi, mate. How are you doing? And that's the, oper what's the operations director. Yeah, you're just like that. You're doing okay? Look at him. Off you go. It's all right, Dave. I'll sort it out. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. good. I'm good. Think, you know, really he knows the score. Needs to be off site. Needs to be off site. Yeah, yeah. I've got no problem with someone filming off site. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, don't your staff don't tell me otherwise, then should there? If I'm told one hey. thing, and then you approach in that manner, it's disgusting, Dave. How you doing? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. Yeah. Good so point. as you know, we just go around interesting places. We yeah. film, but when we're asked to leave, we go. But we need to be respectful of each other. No, no, totally, it's fine. So there you go. I can see you've got your um, SIA license on display. No, no, no. Sure. I, it's on display. I have been asked to leave. You're, you're looking like you're going to be a bit more professional. Friendly, yeah. Yeah, fine. yeah, that's exactly yes. what we want. So yeah, have you watched this type of thing before? I'm, I'm aware of it, yeah. Yeah, so. what, what do you call it? 
I don't know. I mean, I know that they, you call yourself the auditors. There you go. Yeah. yeah, you've said the magic word. You don't know who I am, do you? Because if you do, if you say the name, you get a key ring. No, no idea. Do you oh, mind if oh. we, we walk up? Yeah, yeah, of course, no, of course, of course, of course. Up. So how long has this place been here for? Ten years. Oh, right. It still looks quite new. Is it the same landlord for all the coloured buildings? No, it was a company called uh, Gaisley. They, they built like, all the individual ones. Right. So you've got John Lewis, Waitrose, all these sort of ones. So, yeah. so Gaisley was like the contractor? Yeah, the developer. I'd oh, right. Say. And did they sell them or were they renting them out? Or? They were purpose built, so a company goes to Gaisley and they say, We want a large warehouse for whatever use. And then oh, right. Gaisley built them. And if you notice, then there's Magna Parks, which is, this is called. Right. And there's a Magna Park here, there'll be one in Northampton, but they're all called Magna Park. Yeah, I've noticed there's one in Lutterworth as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. so they've yeah. been made by the same, same people. Right, so basically they've brought a load of land and have said to all the big boys, Right, how do you want your building? <laughs> Brilliant, yeah, originally it? it was uh, farm. That's why that one's called uh, Fen Street. So it's Fen Farm. Oh, right, okay. So you local? No, no. I've travelled about an hour and a half, and my main right. focus today was Red Bull Racing. Okay. So, how, do, how did they do? Were they pretty good? Yeah, they've got a public footpath running straight through. Oh, I see. And you, the sign up here it says, um, "Please keep to the pedestrian footpath," which I did, and yeah. it says, um, "Access to restricted areas is prohibited," or something like that. Yeah. So restricted areas, I won't go past any barriers or. Yeah, you know, and I went into yeah. reception. I've got the ladies are brilliant. Yeah. They says, "Oh, there's some leaflets. Have a look at that um, sculpture in the corner. Do you know, made of recycled yeah. iron brew. Yeah. Brilliant." And then I was just talking to the guy there because he says you've got an outdoor canteen in that little garage bit, like an outdoor drinks. Oh, the staff sales. Oh, is it staff sales? Oh, right, staff sales. Is that why it says only take two crates? Oh, there. That, that's where. No, there is where we say if we've got stuff that's coming like three months on this left on its date. All right. And we can't really sell it because it's not got that much date left on, so we give it to the staff. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. That so. is really nice. And they can only take two. Can they take two every day? Well, whenever we get the stuff out there, so maybe once every two weeks. But I mean, they are a good company for us. They do a lot for charity as well and things like that. So yeah, it's just the people at the top that could be a bit more well, I think they're not aware <laughs> of, of what the, the situation is I mean you're quite within your rights to go you know, where, where you're amazing, allowed to yeah, it's an amazing place I've showed an interest I'm being yeah. polite and respectful but when people treat me disrespectfully I've got to show a little bit back because oh, you just get walked over that's totally fine but yeah I'll stay outside here I have mentioned to the ladies that I do finish my videos with a drone so for, for the next 10 minutes I'll be flying my drone over and I'll I will stay higher than 50 metres. There's no risk of it hurting anybody if it falls. Yeah, so I'm just trying to right, yeah, yeah, e mean, ease your suspicions, that's all. No, it's fine. It's totally fine. All right. Okay, so day, from mate. this moment, I won't come back in. But did you say your name? It's Robert. Robert, you've been very professional. It's been a pleasure to meet you, actually. <laughs> no problem. And you're going to get a lot of love in the comments. Good. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, mate. Right, bye. So Rob told us all about the, the site and uh, how... The developer buys the land, they call them all Magna Park. So you may have heard of it before, you may have one near you. But the buildings look very, very nice. So let's go see what this bar building looks like from above. Right then, bar, Magna Park, Milton Keynes. As shown on the screen there, we are not in a flight restriction zone. We're very close to one, but we're out of it. So, we can just see Rob talking to, to somebody down there. It's a nice car. So could this be the, uh, the director guy? I'll uh, switch over to GoPro. Let's see if we can see the driver. DL21 SJO. And yes, I think it was. Just did look very, very similar. So there they all are, talking down there. And Rob's trying to just uh, reassure them that there is no threat. So let's have a look at what this place have outside. We keep on saying this, don't we, but Cooling, <laughs> lots and lots of cooling. Some compressed air, what we got there? 
liquid. <laughs> and look, a solar panel, <laughs> only one. But it ticks the box. Do they have solar panels? Tick. And lots and lots of barrels of additives, which they put into their soft drinks, which are kept very, very tidy, actually. Eddie Stobart, lots and lots of Eddie Stobart trailers here. And have we even got Eddie Stobart cabs? No, they're cool, no? But what a big warehouse they've got. I'd love to see inside, but the operations manager, he certainly won't allow that. So it gets a little bit higher as well at the back. And there's loads on this industrial estate that all look the same. So we've got special walkways to get over the other side on these roofs. And you'll notice right next to the walkway, there's a line that goes all the way down. So if there's any roof repairs or maintenance that needs to happen, they'll be harnessed and strapped to that line. So when you see me talking about people on roofs, just walking around without any harness or safety line, and that's what I'm talking about. That is the way to do it. So you'll notice in the middle there as well, So it looks like they're having some works done down here where they've got some portable cabins. Maybe they're installing the electric charging, which looks like it's brand new there. They have got fire access and there's still enough room for the fire engine to come out despite that being dumped there. So yeah, we won't pick on that, will we? As long as the, the route for the designated fire access is clear and the building work looks like to be around this area so is this more electric charging that's going down let's try and work it out so we have underground channels with very very thick yeah i would say that's electric cabling and they're going to install more electric charge in there. So if that's for the staff, brilliant. And if it's free, even better. And we're down. So that concludes the video to Bar Soft Drinks here in Milton Keynes. Beautiful building. Rob on security, awesome guy. But Dave, the operations director or operations manager you let the team down even the ladies even the guys on reception were fine a little bit maybe and gave me that literature all right mate yeah you okay you all right yeah no i did, just didn't know whether you recognized me at all no that's all right i thought you stopped to say hello okay no problem Thank you. <laughs> I want to give out the key rings. And I thought you were saying hello. But yeah, so uh, it is what it is. I'll let you decide how well they did. We move on and we start fresh on the next one. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.